morning folks so I am super early this morning uh, so it's not even five o'clock in the morning yet my shop is not open I mean I think uh, I think my shop actually opens at uh, five I mean not to the public I mean I think that's when there's a lot of the early morning staff like um, you know the guys in the kitchen and the hot chef and what have you I think that's when they get there and then the shop itself opens at six uh, but uh, I think it's about half past four or something actually I'm not sure Let's see if I can find out the time got my watch here somewhere let's have a look uh, so let's have a look uh, yeah it's 25 to 5 it is so and the reason why I'm so early is because um, basically uh, because I've got no money until tomorrow uh, I'm having to try and conserve what money I've got on my Oyster card to be able to get to work and back home so instead of getting the tube which I'd normally do I decided to get the bus but the bus, night bus number two night bus um, that I forget how, how frequent it is but I didn't want to come too sort of like I didn't want to miss I want to miss the crowd but also not be too late getting here so maybe I've just overcompensated the usual anyway so but yeah I mean look there's my shop and look it's empty well not empty I mean closed it's not open yet so so early in the morning I've got here before anybody and normally there's a load of guys who've got here well before I get here normally <laughs> so yeah there's already somebody waiting outside the shop already I don't know who it is though because I can't tell because they've got the they've got a, a hood on oh hang on they've gone maybe they've gone in already maybe there's somebody in I don't know uh, anyway uh, so yeah so even before five o'clock in the morning this is Victoria for you wow. somebody homeless sleeping there look I know it looks, just looks like a like a what's name down there doesn't it but somebody sleeping there <sighs> wow there's so many homeless people around here man it's amazing yeah, let's go and have a look walk down this way so yeah <laughs> it just seems so weird not to, every time I come here these lights are on but now there's nobody there at the moment or at least uh, Wow, I'm not sure about getting up this early though, to be quite honest, maybe I, uh, uh, I don't know, but, um, mm. oh dear, because I do feel tired already, and I've not even started work yet, <laughs> uh, oh dear, yeah, look, look at all these homeless people, man, mind you, sometimes you find a lot more than this, Oh, look at this Christmas tree they've put here, look. Uh, and I've never noticed uh, they might have a Christmas tree here before. Huh. Maybe I've just never noticed it. Maybe because I've never really been, spent that much time around here before. I still started working there. So, yeah. Ah, oh, dear. So, uh yeah, uh, I'm just trying to think where we could go, actually. Uh, I'm not sure where to go now, actually. Um, maybe... Maybe go... No, I don't know, actually. I have no idea. I'm so tired this morning. Um, right, okay. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to do a vlog, and uh, I'm just so tired this morning. Sorry, folks. Um, yeah. Uh, also, uh, in regards to um, the uh, videos that I put up uh, yesterday, 
feels like it's the same day somehow but anyway yeah or last night or whatever um, yeah uh, I'm, I'm working on this little sci-fi project anyway like I said I'm hoping to try and do a bit more over the weekend uh, it's just really difficult because obviously it takes so long it literally just to do that little one minute video uh, that I put up and it's not very good to be quite honest there's a lot of errors in it and a lot of the sort of effects that I put in didn't come out well uh, and what have you sort of thing so the thing is that uh, it, it just takes so long you know what I mean to put all these different effects in try to get it just right and all the rest of it and then I got to search the internet for different little um, clips that I could use and, and what have you sort of thing so just takes a long time so bear with me I am definitely gonna get this project off the ground I am determined to do it so okay right uh, like I said I am so super early my shop isn't even there even the lights are not on <laughs> so right uh, yeah okay folks so yeah, uh, going to leave it there for now, uh, and I'll catch you folks later. Bye for now. Yeah, I was just saying a minute ago, uh, there's a lot of homeless people. Uh, and like I say, normally, well, I'll say normally, I mean, what would what you consider normal. Uh, but yeah, a lot of the time, there's, there's a heck of a lot more than that some days. Some days, there'd be a heck of a lot of homeless people around here. Because you've got the main... Uh, homeless hostel around there as well like I said the place where I do the anger group uh, that uh, place there there's you know that's a homeless uh, center there sort of thing so it makes sense that there'll be a lot of people in this area but I think there's probably other reasons as well uh, and obviously you got the main train station there and uh, you know the coach station and of course a lot of people from uh, abroad come you know end up there and and what have you sort of thing so but uh, yeah uh, just makes you think doesn't it and uh, you know when I think about it and all uh, how lucky I am really um, you know at least I've still got a roof over my head do you know what I mean uh, yeah so this Christmas of course I'll be doing my crisis thing um, I've been doing it for the last about six years actually I think roughly this will be my fifth one I missed one of the years for illness because of reasons of illness but essentially this will be my sixth year of you know putting down for volunteering this will be my fifth year of actually doing it uh, barring any illnesses uh, yeah last not last year the year before I think it was, or was it two years ago, I can't quite remember, uh, and I'd signed up as usual, uh, and I ended up getting the flu or something, uh, and they say as well that if you've got any kind of flus, colds or anything like that, don't come for your shifts because the homeless people will be much more success susceptible, flip deck, uh, be much more susceptible to any kind of bugs and what have you sort of thing so they always say that if you're not well enough do you know what I mean don't come in for your shift sort of thing so sadly I missed it last uh, the year, couple of years back so but this will be my fifth fifth year this year um, I'm looking forward to it uh, and uh, yeah it's always an amazing experience one way or the other so but I'll tell you more about it as the as time goes on and as we get nearer to the time um, there's 95 look so 
Yep. So anyway, uh, yeah, like I say, I just thought I'd wander around and do a little early morning vlog. Uh, and also just highlight the... I've only actually what I've been meaning to sort of document some of the homeless... Uh, well, not the people themselves individually necessarily, uh, although that as well maybe. But again, it's something I've talked about before and it's something I really need to try and work out how the heck I'm going to actually do it. Um, but uh, anyway, let's, let's go this way. Uh, Look, look, see? Yeah, let's cross over the road for now. No traffic coming. Yeah, so, um... Uh, yeah, I'm talking quietly because I don't want to be waking them up, you know what I mean? Because, um, you know, they're just trying to get some sleep like anybody else, man. You know, and I don't want to go disturbing them. But yeah, the other thing is, like I said, I was thinking I'd like to, I've been wanting to sort of document it a bit more, to be quite honest. And But I don't want to be intrusive either, do you know what I mean? Uh, and I feel a bit, what's the name, about just filming them people just then, you know what I mean? Uh, but, I, I, you know, just they, because their faces weren't showing or anything, so that's kind of why, you know, they were just anonymous kind of... Um, person, you know what I mean, in that sense, they're just anonymous because you can't, you know, it's just a, uh, a sort of body on the street, that, sound, that doesn't sound right, right, but you know what I mean, it's, you know, it's just a, a person sleeping in a sleeping bag, you, you can't see their faces is basically what I'm saying, so it didn't feel as intrusive that way, but, you know, the thing is, I don't want to intrude on them, it's, it's not a nice thing, do you know what I mean, and, uh, but, as like I said, I've just been wanting to sort of document it, you know, um, Right, windy corner. Oh, that's handy, isn't it? Uh, uh, sorry. Oh, let me go back down here a minute. I can get out of this wind. I bet you can't hear a flipping thing. <sighs> you see, that's the thing. Winter time comes and it gets more windy. <sighs> anyway, so. Yeah, uh, like I said, oh, see, the wind's coming back this way now. It wasn't blowing, it was blowing at the back of me before. Such a pain in the bum with the wind. Um, yeah, so like I said, I've been wanting to do this for a while um, and uh, sort of document it more. And there was, there's been loads of different times when it seemed like, it, it, to be quite honest, it kind of felt like the right thing to do at the time, but I didn't because I, I always feel very conscious about. I don't want to gratuitously film people, especially in a vulnerable situation, do you know what I mean? Uh, I really don't want them, not without their permission, do you know what I mean? So, um, so it's all about, you know, finding the right tact, if you like, the right way of doing it in that sense. Um, but, uh, yeah, you know, I don't know, I just, I mean... Obviously, I've been around this all my life, one way or another, uh, and uh, I don't know what the answers are, the solutions are. You know, you think, oh well, you petition government, this, that, and the other, and blah, blah, blah. But it's like half the time things don't seem to change that much anyway. And it is a complex issue. You know what I mean? It's not a straightforward, simple, oh, we'll just give them somewhere to live and and that's the end of it sort of thing. You know what I mean? It's far more complex than that. Uh, you know, people have a lot of complex needs and a lot of complex issues. Um, and it's not just a matter of giving somebody a home and then, you know, that that's it. You know, it's all sorted sort of thing. Uh, so, you know, but thinking, I'm th you know, I'm thinking, will my video, if I do a video specifically about the homeless situation, um, and, you know, sort of document it and all the rest of it sort of thing, Will, will that make any difference? Will it help in any way? Do you know what I mean? That's, that's the thing. You know, will it actually help anyone? Uh, so, like I said, I, I kind of want to and I've been wanting to for a while. Because uh, I think it's important to document it, if nothing else. Do you know what I mean? Just document the whole situation. Um, 
you know, uh, at least if nothing else, it's it's there as a permanent record kind of thing. I mean, I know people can see it every day. You know, people walk past homeless people day in, day out, sort of thing. It's almost become like we're blasé to it. Do you know what I mean? It's like the norm, as it were. When by rights it shouldn't be. Do you know what I mean? Especially in this day and age. Do you know what I mean? But anyway, before I start getting on my high horse and start flipping going on with myself sort of thing uh, I'm just gonna leave it there for for now um, and uh, yeah so for the time being I'll leave it there and I'll catch you folks later bye for now so you got 95 there you've got uh, the other one that's at the back of there like I said to you uh, you've got my shop which is just down there there's House of Frasier twinkling away over there so my shops just down there and then you've got another pret right here you see the one with the little square windows maybe you can't see it so well yet but uh, let me take you over there and show you uh, sorry about the wind by the way I have no idea how much it's howling on it it's probably howling quite well as usual anyway so yeah, so also, whilst we're here, I wanted to show you this really amazing old building. I forget how old it is, exactly, but it's a, it used to be a school or something, I think. Something like that. It's now some posh, flipping wedding shop, wedding dress shop. But, uh, what was that? What's the date on it again? Let's have a look. What does it say? 16... 1688. Look. It was a school lot, originally. Yeah, let's have a look. Get out of the way of those leaves. Look. Look at that. I don't know how clearly you can see that because in the screen it looks really blurry. So it's hard for me to tell whether you guys can see that or not properly. How well can you see that? So look, 18... Uh, 18, what am I on? 1688. So that was the 17th century. 17th century this was built. Wow. Amazing, eh? And this is surrounded now by all these modern skyscrapers that are being built and have been built. Do you know what I mean? Amazing, isn't it? I like the I like the way the fact that sometimes little places like that get do get left and not knocked down or whatever. I mean, some flipping history there, isn't there? You think about it. But now, yeah, it's a posh uh, wedding dress shop. You, can, you can't just walk in, I think. You have to. Go, you can only sort of go there by appointment or something. But yeah, so uh, 16th century. I'd love to have a look inside, but like I said, it's a posh. Uh, what's that? Oh, you can see a bit of inside there. Oh, it looks the architecture and stuff looks amazing in there actually, with those pillars and the coving and that flipping. Oh, look at that. Look at that flipping. Um, I don't know how well you guys can see that. There's a bit like a wooden chandelier thing. And it's got those pillars sort of like in the entranceway. It's quite quite amazing. You know? I mean, um, like I said, you know, uh, 17th century this was built. And it's an old school, now uh, an exclusive wedding dress shop. Um, it's quite awesome. Wow. Well, let's say you, you, uh, the, br the Blue Coat School or something it's called. Something like that, anyway. But yeah, it's an exclusive wedding dress shop now. Um, awesome, eh? Quite amazing. Look at that door. Wow. <laughs> but yeah, so that's the other prep there, look. So like I said, we've got 11 prets just within Victoria itself. And now we've got all these modern constructions going on, of course. All these modern buildings. But yeah, so... Uh, I just thought I'd show you that because I thought, like, you know, quite an interesting building. I would love to be able to go inside it and have a look inside uh, and film it. Because, like I said, it looks, the architecture, what I can see through the windows, it looks pretty awesome, man. 
it's got a massive big wooden chandelier that you can see um, and the sort of coving around the ceiling and all that sort of stuff looks pretty awesome all right okay um, don't know where else or what else to say then um, where else to take you guys now um, so in a bit I'm gonna head to the shop and get myself um, uh, coffee because I'm absolutely parched definitely need a coffee uh, but I'm gonna give them a chance to get themselves organized first you know what I mean because uh, um, there'll be somebody there by now it's nearly five o'clock I think I'm not sure exactly look at that I love it. I do like what looking at the gubbins of buildings I don't know why I don't know why it fascinates me <laughs> so right okay yeah so uh, this has been an interesting vlog this morning I guess or well, slightly just me wandering around it's pretty awesome that school though that uh, old building that used to be a school it's pretty awesome really um, oh great thanks Wayne yeah so <laughs> yeah, uh, you think about it. What's that? Six, sixteenth century. No, hang on. What did I say? Seventeenth century. Sorry, seventeenth century. Uh, oh, for crying out loud! I can't work that out now. Hang on. And it's the end of the that century as well. Eighty-eight. So, uh, oh, what's that? Four. Is that four hundred? Five. Sorry, my math is terrible, and, and it's too early in the morning, and I haven't had a coffee yet, so, yeah, um, but I don't know, well, good two, uh, no, more than that, sorry, uh, a good um, 400 years old at least, perhaps, wow, can you imagine what it must have looked like around here 400 years ago, when that building was first built, can you imagine that, I wonder what it would look like, I, I, I love thinking about stuff like that, I think to myself, I wonder what, it would look like round there, but it would have been like almost rural or something, you know, like countryside even maybe, perhaps, I don't know, mind you then again, I don't know, because the city of London has been around for a while on it, so it might have been a bit more built up than I imagine, perhaps even back then, so, but yeah, I just wonder, I think to myself, I wonder what it was like back then, what did everything look like, right, okay, so I'm just waffling on, and I don't want to bore you guys, so, okay, I'm going to leave it there for now, and I'll catch you folks later. Bye for now.